Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're going to go over the 10 best features of the Galaxy Note 4. Now, you can watch this in one of two ways, and that is the full regular way we've done the video in the past, or you can skip to the broken up videos and just watch your favorite ones. Hopefully you enjoy these, and please give a like, thumbs up down below. Let's get started. One of my favorite features about this phone definitely has to be the new pop-up apps or pop-up icons. And this comes from an evolution of the multi-window. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the multi-window, in the past, Samsung allowed you to use two apps at the same time. So I could, you know, view, or no, no, calculator, say if I wanted to view Facebook, and then at the same time, you know, see what's in the Play Store. This is what you are able to do always on Samsung devices. However, now they've given you a different ability and that is the ability to actually be able to have an app in a pop-up app. So what you do to bring it in is just grab it from the corner oops, and then shrink it down. From here, you can always make it bigger if you want, and you can even minimize it into a collapse window, which is this little icon right here. So this is really nice, and you can have up to uh, eight of these, I believe, at the same time, and really nice. I would recommend not having more than three, really, as obviously the app is still running in the background, so it will slow your phone down if you have too many of them open. But, you know, three should be good um, with whatever app you're using besides that. So it's a total of four running apps. And uh, really good for that purpose. And as you can see, you can kind of use it to your heart's desire. And if you ever want to open it up, an app that has this little, um, that has this little square right there, all apps that have this are able to do this. So you can just hold it down and then open it up in the mini app. So that's really nice and easy and wow. That hopefully I don't get flagged for that. Uh, so yeah, very uh, simple and easy to do. Now, by far my favorite one of all of these definitely has to be the camera app, simply because it gives you quick access to it, your camera at all times. So I can just minimize this and keep this anywhere on my screen. Then, you know, I can go into the Play Store, do something, or play a game. You know, I could be playing Clash of Clans in the middle of it. I see something hilarious, something that I just have to take a photo or a video of. Well, then all I need to do is hit this button, and right away I can take my, take my photo. This is quicker than any other way to take a photo on pretty much any device I've seen. Um, even once with a camera button, this is really quick uh, when it opens up because it is already open the app is already open so it doesn't need to reopen it so because of that it's definitely one of my favorite features and that is the new floating apps the camera on the galaxy note 4 is definitely one of the best out there but one of one of the best features that it has definitely comes from the instant hdr what HDR stands for is high dynamic range, and most people don't always know when to use it. It's used when you have a range in light, so uh, more uh, light coming from the outside as opposed to what you have inside from, say, a door or window. Or uh, you're at a sports game, and every, th every sports game, always either the dome lights on the field are brighter than the field itself, or uh, your actual sun outside is brighter than the field itself. So these are reasons why you would want instant HDR. And all that you do is just hit this icon. And now it's on. And it's very simple. All you And the benefit that this phone has that other phones don't is no delay. Well, right there was a little bit of delay with the focus more so. But uh, just the fact that you can take it and there's no delay whatsoever. It's a really amazing feature, and the HDR on this device is better than any other HDR. Just because your phone has HDR doesn't mean you can come up with this kind of quality. So this is the difference. We have a shot right here. Again, window outside is much brighter than the inside, 
and this is what instant hdr did it automatically corrects it uh to a severe degree that it just it it makes it a lot better and again it just corrects that range in light another feature comes from this shot this shot is good by all means very clear very detailed when you go into the shot itself but comparing this to this shot it's a dramatic difference and uh, most people didn't even always notice that this area and this area you really can't see but in this shot you can see all very clearly so really nice in that aspect now saying any kind of Field, any kind of sporting event that you go to, the field is always darker and you can't really see people as easily. Um, the screen is actually brightening this shot, but it's very dark. And this is the difference. You can see the field a lot better off in comparison between the two. And then finally, if you're ever at a bar or um, sports bar or anything that has TVs. Yes, TVs do the same feature. They mess up your shot to the point where you really can't see anything in a TV shot. So it really messes up, again, because the TV, LED TVs especially, are brighter than everything around it. So it really makes it difficult for the cameras to take a shot. However, this easily corrects it with instant HDR and then you can see things on top. So a lot nicer and a lot easier in comparison between the two. So that is definitely one of my favorite features and that is Instant HDR. For video recording, one of the best features the Note 4 has for video recording definitely comes from a mode called Smooth Motion. Now Smooth Motion can be placed at the top right here in front of all the other icons, but normally you get to it by hitting the Settings button, then hitting these three little ellipses, and then turning on Smooth Motion Recording. Again, you can grab it right here and then put it to the front, but when you open this up, you have the different modes of recording. Normal, which is normal. Limit to MMS, which is for text message videos, just quick videos that you want to send off through text message. Slow motion, which creates a great dramatic effect, and fast motion that creates a great comical effect. And then we have smooth motion. Smooth motion really is the best form of video recording that the Note 4 has to offer. It actually records in a format uh, that is much reminiscent of TV shows or movies. It records at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, this is one of the very few phones in the world that can do that, and most of them come from Samsung, actually. Most other phones cannot record in this format. Now, some people might tell you, oh, but, you know, it can record in a better quality. So it is true that if you set it to normal, you can actually record in higher resolutions. But higher resolutions, you won't notice a difference unless you have those types of TVs in a way to view it. Otherwise, you would never notice that difference. So, what I always let people know is that if you actually instead record in this quality, immediately you can see the difference. This was a video that I took with the Note 3 with smooth motion recording on. Now, the Note 4 will not have the shakiness that the Note 3 had. but you can just see how clear it was. And it looks really lifelike, especially when in person. It really does look amazing. And uh, this being recorded at 30 frames per second uh, in my camcorder will not do it uh, complete justice. However, I like to even point out that when Samsung themselves did this amazing looking video that they were like, this is what was done with the S5. Well, all this video is, is instant HDR and smooth motion video recording combined. That's all this video is. And this is how you can make your own videos look truly amazing by just having those two features on and it will look as great as this. Hopefully you like this video, please give a like thumbs up if you did. One of the other best features of the Note 4 definitely comes from a office suite. 
This is Hancom Office. I've done several reviews on this app on the tablets, but the Note 4 is actually the first phone to bring it to cell phones. And the reason why this is just such an amazing device is because it doesn't change the format. It keeps everything the same way that Microsoft Office does. It's 100% compatible and it doesn't change any of the formatting that you get from Word, PowerPoint, or Excel. It saves in the same files, DOCX, uh, and everything stays the same. And this is a really, really important feature to a lot of people. When you start a new document, you'll see Word. And although this is a lightened version, at least it seems like to me, compared to the uh, far superior tablet version, you really still do get the best of everything in terms of changing anything that you need to you are able to do it very easily just as you would in word or powerpoint in terms of uh, adding things you can do it very easily as well just very simple and easy to do charts comments anything you can do on word or powerpoint or excel you can do here it really does stand out in just how uh, similar these div these features are compared to the common denominator in Microsoft. So it really does help that you have all of these features that you would normally have only by having Microsoft Office. But let's face it, for the Microsoft Office mobile app, no one's going to pay that $100 a year just to keep it on their phone. It really isn't worth it and this is a much, much better uh, ability and it's free it comes with the note 4 so yes I definitely do believe this is uh, the best thing to go for when you really want a replacement for your office it really just uh, makes it so much of a better feature so it is one of the best things and hopefully you try it out and use it on a daily basis One of the best features is actually depending on who you are. The Note 4 has two great features that divide your phone, and it does it in a very great way. You have something called My Knox, which is available to download from the Google Play Store. What My Knox is ideal for is business customers. Business customers will love this for the fact that you have the ability to have your personal side of your phone that needs no password, even if your company requires a password. And then you can go into My Knox, where you can put a password, and if you use it within 10 minutes, you don't have to put it again. So I can put in my password, and now I have access to my device. It's very simple, very easy, and now I have access to all my business information, which of course I cannot show just very easily like that, but it's just nice that I have that ability right away. Now, when I go home, this is my personal side, but I still get every single notification. Everything that I have on my business side, I have at all times. I'm not ever desynced from my phone, but it gives me a nice division. The reason why this is so good for business customers as well is because if you ever say quit or get fired, most companies will wipe out your entire phone, whereas this actually only allows them to wipe out the knock side since they never had access to the personal side. Now, what's one of the other great features? Well, that comes from Kids Mode. Kids Mode is found in the Galaxy App Store, and in the Galaxy App Store, you are allowed to install Kids Mode Installer, which then in turns, of course, allows you to use kids mode. This is great, of course, for parents. Anyone that has a younger child and you want to give them the phone but don't want them to mess with your phone, well, you have a great feature in kids mode. In kids mode, they have this uh, alligator they can play with, tickle, play with little animations right here, and they have access to certain great apps. One of my favorite is the voice recorder. You can also play with your own instruments playback videos that you allow them to play, view photos that they've taken with their camera, and draw. You can also give them apps as rewards. So anytime that you want, you can give them a new app in the parental control area. So in the parental control area, this is where you can get to and you give them the ability 
to see what they're doing and no I do not have a kid <laughs> see what they're doing and do anything else you want so basically like you know what my son uh, that doesn't exist yet was very well behaved so I'm going to allow them to actually get uh, more apps so once in the application section I can hit plus and you know what I'm going to give them the new diner dash game and done and now I just added a game for them and now when they go home they see it's a little gift and they're like oh I get a new gift yay and it's an app very simple very easy with this of course you can also monitor what they're doing and uh, limit their playtime uh, allow them to contact certain people this is a new feature found in the note that you're able to give you know add new contacts again music sticker charts I mean you can just really have a lot of fun with this even kids store of course and manage profiles if you have more than one kid that is fine you can of course have uh, more than one uh, part for kids mode so the boy has a kid mode and the older brother has a kid mode and the little sister has a kid mode very easy and when you start to decide these are the contacts that you've allowed them to call all right and then of course you exit out of it by putting in your password which they of course will not know so yes very simple very easy and uh, very useful uh, to both business customers and parents now a great feature comes from the S Pen. A lot of people always wonder, what can I use the S Pen for on the Note 4? Well, one of my favorite features that I've used multiple times now is highlighting words to both define and translate them. So it's, it's very simple. With the one button on the pen, the pen works kind of like a mouse on a computer. If you hold it down over a word, you highlight it, just like you would on a computer. But one of the best things that I like that you can do with this one is actually just quickly hit dictionary. This will define the word and you can even have it so it will translate words as well. This is really a simple and easy process and it's nice because it's not so evasive in, sorry, uh, invasive. Uh, it doesn't cover up the whole screen. It's just on this little small part as a pop-up window, which is really nice. Now, Say, what if it's a more complex word that even doesn't the dictionary uh, built in doesn't know? Well, that's very fine because if you click this button and highlight a word that it doesn't know, no oh, match is found. You can maximize it and then search on the web, and then Google will tell you what it is. So, either way, you get to your definitions very easily. And you can translate uh, very easily. If words or phrases that you may not know, you can translate just by using the pen, and it's a very quick way to do so. It's been very useful, and it's just so much easier than trying to hold down words with your finger and it being very difficult to move exactly where you want to go. It's a lot easier just to do it all with the pen. Another great feature that this phone has that only Samsung phones have currently been able to do is something called Ultra Power Saving Mode. Now, Ultra Power Saving Mode really does change the way your phone works, but it does give you the most ridiculous battery life you've ever had on a smartphone. Now, once you turn it on, it does a couple of things. First, it changes your screen into a black and white screen. Second, it disables LTE. If you do run off of HSPA+, you still will have that 4G. If not, you will have 3G. Third, it limits you to six apps total. The first of three are phone call, text message, and internet. The other three can be added, um, but they have to be compatible with this mode because obviously this is all low energy apps. The idea behind this is that you get a really, really long battery life. With this mode on the Galaxy S5, I was able to get at 7% four and a half hours of trying to drain it. Trying to drain it meaning I spent an hour long conversation almost with my girlfriend. I was able to go online and view tech blogs and I was able to post on Facebook and text message people. On this mode, again, you can't 
have every app, unfortunately. I wish there was more apps available, but for the basic needs of phone call, text message, and internet, this gives you a really, really long battery life. Um, judging by its standards, it would, uh, if the S5 gave you seven days of battery life of actual usage in this mode, then this mode should give you about eight uh, to eight and a half. So really, really long battery life and standby time, of course, is just, uh, I mean, more almost more than two weeks actually worth. So it's a really, really great feature for those of us that we're going out and you know what, we just don't have enough battery life. We just turn into this mode and we have a phone for the rest of the night. And it really, really is just a great feature for those kind of situations. For this next best feature, it really depends on your carrier if you have it. And for obvious reasons, it is called Download Booster. So Download Booster allows you to do something pretty amazing if you have unlimited data. And that is when you need to, you can actually use both Wi-Fi and LTE simultaneously. This gives you the fastest internet on a phone, period. No other phone has this ability and it's a really great feature to have. So you can just go up to the top and turn it on right there and then download anything over 30 megabytes. So say this game that is, I believe, over a gig, you'll want to have that off. will allow you to download at ludicrous speed. And you really can download very quickly, as you can see. So even though my Wi-Fi connection would normally give me anywhere from 50 to 70, now because I have LTE here as well, I'm getting another 20, 25 every second. And this game is, what, two gigs? And I've already downloaded over 300 megabytes of it. So you can see just how quickly this can download and how useful it can be. You can download quicker than any other device on the market. And this is a really great feature, of course, to have for those of you who want to download movies, download games, apps, anything that are files over 30 megabytes, even really long YouTube videos. This actually makes your YouTube streaming a lot better as well. So it can be very useful to a lot of people and it's obviously a really great feature. I mean, just in talking in this short period of time, you can see that we've gotten already 750 uh, megabytes uh, very quickly and very easily. So this is Download Booster and it's a really great feature to have. Now, by far one of my favorite features of the Note series has been a simple mode called one-handed operation. Now, this might not seem like a big deal till you realize that other smartphones that are this size don't have this ability. That's right, the iPhone 6 Plus, the Nexus 6, the um, LG series, n none of these phones have this kind of mode. And that is one-handed operation when you go in and out and you shrink the entire screen size so you can easily operate the entire phone one-handed. And as you can see, this makes it really nice and convenient to be able to do just because I can operate everything by just reducing the screen size. Now I have this basically around an iPhone screen size, which is kind of funny when you compare it, but it's really easy to just go in between your apps. You hit your multi-view button, you can see everything, hit your back button. You can even hit your volume rocker that's over here. And this has been one of my favorite features because it's just so nice and convenient. Now, another feature is the fact that you do have another new set of buttons right here called the side key panel. And the side key panel, you just turn on right there and then you can just use it and then you just go home. You can hit the menu button, you can hit the back button. Everything from right here, if say you're more towards the top, then you don't have to go towards the bottom. Both of these features make it very easy to operate the phone one-handed, and it's a lot better than every other device out there. The most devices have is like bringing the top towards the bottom, which aesthetically looks horrible and just doesn't have the same level of functionality. And other ones like LG have the 
side key so basically your input is smaller but that doesn't make the whole phone i can't go to my settings at the top that easily i can't do everything that easily and that is what one-handed operation brings to the table very quick and easy to just go through everything and very simple and easy to use it's a great feature and it should be a standard for all phones this size aka phablets now, one of my favorite features of the S5 that is translated to the Note 4 is definitely Galaxy Studio. What is Galaxy Studio? Well, it's a really, really great app for photo editing. So you can start by just going into an app and then hitting this icon right here. As you saw, if you do have AirView on, you can hover over it and then just edit it right here. And what this allows you to do is really do a lot of enhancements that Honestly, it's the best of every other photo editor built into one. There's really no need to get a third-party photo editor because you can automatically enhance the image from here. You can resize it to make it a smaller file size. You can crop it to make it perfect for, say, Instagram or any of the other uh, social networks that you do. Very simple and easy. You can change the tone to make it a different, you know, skin tone or something. Make it like darker, lighter and you can hold it down to see what it looks like before and then after when you change it and we can make it a little bit more saturated makes it look like I have a bit more of a tan you can do lots of fun effects uh, one of my favorites is this one by far I just love the effect and again you can even reduce the effect which is really nice because sometimes an effect is too strong I just want a little bit but you can see the before and after again and then do that or take that away. You can airbrush, so you know, I can make the face look nicer than it was before. Get a little airbrush in there. You can brighten a face or darken a face. So 10 is normal. This is brighter and this is darker. Again, before and after. So you can kind of see how it is. Let's brighten the face a little bit. You can do out of focus, which kind of blurs everything out. And again, you can reduce that a little bit, just make it a little bit more the center of attention or less the center of attention. And then you can decorate it really nice. Uh, stickers can be very, very fun. I can just, you know, this little pipe right there. This guy's a smoker, apparently. Little bow tie right here. Right there. Um, let's see what else we can do. A little glasses, be Harry Potter for a second, which my girl would like because she's a big Harry Potter fan. Kind of angle that since my head is a bit angled on there. And kind of do that there. Oops, no, actually, I want that about there. Oops, tilted that. And you can see you can just have a lot of fun with it really quickly and easily. And you know, you can add lots of fun uh, seasonal things and just some really nice features. You can even add a bit more to it, such as stamps, which can be kind of nice. And this is something that a lot of people look for. Now this is a stamp of the date time and everything. You can do your location, where you were at and just a lot of really nice stuff um, in terms of what you can do there. You can do picture information so you can see exactly how it was taken, uh, which is again, just nice that it has all these different options that you can do. Very simple and easy. You can even do labels, which is another thing people like to do, some different text labels and different styles of text. So you can really personalize it. You can see just how much this is just like every other uh, editing uh, app on the market, but really in a lot of ways better. So it just makes it a really nice impression that you have for it. Once you're done with it, you can save it and this will be the high quality version of it and very simple and easy to do. By the way, this does save in a different folder called Studio and then when you share it, you can share it very easily. But the nice thing about this is you can even take it a step further and take a couple of them with your S Pen and just click the button. And I'm gonna highlight these two and then these two. And now from here, I can go into Edit with Studio 
and here's where you really get the full version of the studio. You can have Photo Studio, Collage Studio, Shot and More, Video Clip Studio, so you can make it like the collage video, and Video Trimmer. But Collage Studio is what most people end up using online. And the nice thing about each of these is each of these you can create an effect and uh, edit it. You can even change the aspect ratio, change the layout, and just how you want it to be done. You can of course pinch to zoom on the photo as well, so you can make it bigger or smaller from right there. And you know, get the perfect style you want from it. You can even make the borders more curved and more better size. So really just a lot of features you can do with this one and it has been my favorite studio. I've not needed to download a third party studio since I've gotten this one. So hopefully you will like this photo editor. I have definitely enjoyed it and uh, really, really like it.